sequence diagram or a type of UML diagram that show how objects in a system or classes within code interact with each other. Particularly these diagrams show interaction in the order they take place in other words they show the sequence of events. They are primarily used by developers and business professionals to document processes or understand the requirement of a new program. Now before we get started let's talk about how we are going for the sequence diagram. First we need a topic of our example. Let's diagram the interaction that happens at an ATM. The first step is to think of the parts that make up whatever your topic is. In our case we are in a parts involved in an ATM transaction. A person goes to an ATM to get money. The ATM communicates with the bank server and that person's bank account will be interacting. The ATM bank server and the bank account are all part of the ATM system. These are three items of our objects. The person on the other hand is external to the system. Therefore they are an actor. Actors are always outside the scope of the system in a sequence of the system. Actors are represented by stick figures and objects are represented by rectangles. So first we will drag out an actor and place on them on the left. These represent the person trying to interact. They will add all other objects alongside of it. We will start by naming the object ATM before the person first interact with the ATM, then bank server and finally bank account. You want the object to be placed in a sequence order from left to right. Next we will need to add a lifelines. Lifelines are vertical dashed lines that show the existence of an object or actor over time. Moving down the lifetime means that more time is passing. So we will drag out a lifeline for an actor and for each of the objects. Now that we have our base chart laid down, we can start to diagram the interaction between an actor and our objects. To start, think of all the steps that happen when you are going to get a cash from an ATM. The first thing you will need to do get an ATM is insert your card. That will be your first message. Message shows the information between sent between object sequence diagram show the order of interactions or sequences and they do by moving down the lifeline with each messages. So we'll start with the first one on the top. Drag out on a line that connects the actor lifeline to the ATM. Now given it as a label insert card. Now the ATM checks with the bank server to make sure it's a valid card. We will drag out from the line ATM and bank server just now below the previous message line. Well label and verify card. This server verifies the card and sends a message back to the ATM and an object send a message back. This is called a return or reply message and they are always represented by a dashed line. Return line often moves from right to left that isn't always the case. So we will drag out another line and connect it from the server lifeline to the ATM lifeline. We also need to change. The dashed line represents the return message or a message from the receiving object back to the requesting. We will label the message as card OK. OK, after the card that has been validated, it have to give the message. So we will draw a line from the ATM to the actor as request pin. Before this message is not replying, rather than responding, the message is not a reply message and will be denoted by a solid line. So what happens when the card is invalid, like when an insert card is expired? Then as an alternative frame is used an alternative frame symbolizes a choice between two or more message sequences. These choices are usually mutually exclusive. So in this case the conditions are if the card is valid or if it's not. We will drag out one of these boxes and place it. Yeah, like this. The upper portion of the box will be labeled if card is valid and the lower portion will say else. It, that this says that if the card is valid tell the ATM and the ATM will require a pin if the card is not valid the server will tell the ATM and the ATM will eject the card. We will make two more messages that show the alternate interaction labeling them card invalid and eject card. After the ATM has determined the card to be valid and requesting a pin the user will input their pin. 
Since the ATM requested the PIN and this is the user's response to that request, this message will be a return message. So we will make a dash line from the actor to the ATM and label it PIN ENTER. The ATM will then ask the server if the PIN is correct. We will draw a line to represent that interaction and label it VERIFY PIN. Now we have the same situation as before where we will need to use an alternate. First we will create what happens if the PIN is valid. The server will tell the ATM. The PIN is valid. The ATM will give the message request at modes. We will drag out an alternate frame and place it around the two new messages. If the PIN is valid. Else part. Let us add the alternate message. The server will tell the ATM the PIN is invalid. The ATM will eject the card. We will continue to map out the rest of the interaction by creating messages and return message until the transaction is complete, the actor has received the money. The user will input an amount entered and start transaction and sufficient funds is there or not will be checked. Transaction if funds are sufficient, the server will withdraw the amount until the ATM to dispense the card. If the funds are not sufficient, won't want the transaction will be unsuccessful. Finally, the card will be ejected after the card is dispensed or the transaction was cancelled. With our interaction complete, now add an activation boxes. Activation boxes show when and how long the object is performing a process. This show a glance when object are active and when they are not active. Since we drag on place on the ATM lifeline and leave the box around the first and last message of the lifeline. We'll do the same for the bank server and the bank account as well. Since, as we discussed, the actors are external objects, they don't need an activation box. Now we can easily see the bank account is much less active than the rest of the object in the sequence.